Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is the first dot zero session, and this is session 4.0. I've gotten some questions in about how I was going about and recording things. I've got it all set up right now. I usually don't record off of my iPad, but I'm using my iPad just to I don't know, kind of record this session and get some notes for you guys down if, for those are, who are interested. So. The first thing you'll see here, I'm just going to turn the camera over here, is kind of just what I write down for some notes just to have something to look over to. Um, I'm not really going, digging too deep into a lot of these. I'm just kind of starting and then going through what just makes sense logically. Um, you can see here I got the 404 uh, Mark II, and I mean that's been the main thing so far, and usually on the left, sometimes on the right, I'll have whatever device I'm inputting from or try to show off uh, what this is, how, how things work or what, what it is. Um, so connection wise, you can see here uh, for what I'm going to do for session four, I've got my outputs going into the inputs on the 404. And I'm just going to be using the 202 actually as a microphone for this session. So uh, I just figured it'll be easier than trying to route all of my audio through my microphone. I've also here got a Zoom H6. This has been what I've been using to get the a better audio recording out of or into the iPhone to record with. And I've got the iPhone just kind of over here hooked up into the stand. I got the camera kit. You need the powered camera kit in it to be able to get the H6 to work correctly because it's not power well i think you can do it over batteries but anyway uh, i got sick of changing batteries all the time so i got the powered camera kit i have it actually connected to power through here and just a few zip ties to kind of hold things in place um, h6 one thing i have changed and you can see here this is the microphone for what i used to actually speak into um, if you kind of look in the settings it hadn't been anything too crazy set up here um, but I can at least kind of look at the mixers, see if I'm clipping. I really try and target negative 6 dB because anything over that seems to get really staticky and crackly. I'm not quite sure why. It might be an impedance mismatch or something, but um, yeah, you can see like USB here, that's just going up into the camera kit. Uh, one thing I'm going to try for this next session, because I've been getting some comments about the vocals being a little quiet, is I put a compressor, uh, the vocal compressor that is on the H6. Um, if I get really close here, you can probably, yeah, you can see like that is lit up. So I'm just saying it's got a compressor. So hopefully, even if I back up a little ways away from the microphone, it'll be louder and a little bit more consistent. Uh, besides that, you know, I got this microphone stand here. Got the AKG D880 that I have had, I don't know, 15, 20 years now. It's the only microphone I have, which is why uh, for this next session, I needed some way to get a microphone <laughs> uh, to be able to record what I'm going to be doing, <laughs> just to have some fun and do something a little different. So, um, and then besides that, I've got my uh, headphones. They're they're hooked up into the Zoom H6 just so that I can monitor, I, so I can hear my voice, make sure it's, I can at least hear my voice in comparison to whatever I'm playing or doing on the 404 Mark II. Um, you, I, I know there's been a little bit of difference in quality from time to time in the, the sessions, but I'm trying to get better at it. And, you know, usually I'm just kind of running the volume at about halfway off of the Mark II so that the volume of whatever I'm playing is hopefully lower than my voice. But I don't know. I'm, I'm still learning. I'll keep playing around. At some point, I'll probably think about getting a GoPro or something. But for now, without having to spend any more money on gear. <laughs> this seems to be working well enough. So anyway, hopefully that helps you guys if you're looking for doing your own setup or trying to record stuff. There are a little bit little bits and components you kind of need. Uh, the stands are really helpful just to keep things more steady and in a spot that it's kind of out of the way. But I mean, you really just need a phone and possibly an audio interface and you can get an awful lot done. So hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, take it easy and have a great day. Peace.